Launched all the way back in January 2015, the Amazon company launched their own airline called Amazon Prime Air. It's a cargo airline of Amazon's delivery service and it operates using its own branded aircraft operated by Air Transport International, ABX Air and also Atlas Air. Now the reason why the company effectively started its own airline is to reduce its reliance on third party companies and increase the amount of merchandise that would be eligible for free 2 day delivery. Now for a long time the e-commerce companies have used airlines like UPS and FedEx to deliver majority of their packages. However, two major disadvantages rose from this model. Firstly, the cost of employing these delivery companies increased Amazon's operating expenses. Secondly, there have been instances where freight companies haven't been able to cater to the rising delivery demands of Amazon, leading to heavy delays and backlash from customers. But despite these issues, the company has set in place some plans that would see them rise and increase their overall value in the global freight business. Now currently they operate around 40 planes for their partner airlines and is in the market for 10 more planes. But they're planning to launch a $1.5 billion cargo center at Sensiati Airport. This expansion will support more than 100 planes and they're targeting to start operations in the beginning of 2020. But this is only the tip of the iceberg because they have so much more planned. Now Amazon originally leased 919 acres to build this global center. But upon realizing that they needed more land to accommodate the demand, in January 2018, they added a further 210. Now to put that into perspective, that's around 4 kilometers from tip to tip. With the project having multiple phases in design, it's estimated that the total space of the airport would provide space for approximately 400 planes. Now just think about that for a moment. An e-commerce company having its own airline, building its own cargo center and having hundreds of planes. That's absolutely crazy and it's also impressive at the same time. Now it's rumored that they're interested in ordering 100, 767, 300 freighters but nothing has materialized at this moment. But nevertheless, Boeing is planning to increase the 767 production to 4 aircraft a month in the early next decade and this could be in anticipation for the global freight demand. Now in order to fully utilize their freight network, they need a good fleet of planes. They currently have 38 of the 767 200 and 300 freighters, but it's reported that they're looking in the market for U 767s. It's unclear whether they'll be interested in the A330 freighter because the acquisition cost is quite low to make this an option, but due to their age, I don't think this will happen. Now the possibility of the 777 freighter has also been mentioned, but based on their body language, this seems very speculative. The older non-ER versions of the 777-200 and 300s would make a great option for Amazon. The lightweight structure of the early non-ER 200 and 300 versions would easily accommodate Amazon's needs. Now the possibility of acquiring early Boeing 777s for conversion to freighters has also been mentioned, but again, this is purely speculative. So once everything has materialized and settled down, we could see the Amazon Air fleet rise to around 500 aircraft crisscrossing the continents. Now should companies like FedEx and UPS be worried? Well, not really. They've continuously stated that e-commerce is great for their growth. However, at the same time, they've also stated that their growth isn't dependent on just one company. FedEx recently stated that only 3% of its revenue is derived from Amazon, while an estimated 7% for UPS. Also, if we look outside the US, then FedEx and UPS have very limited competition. If you look at the growth of e-commerce and limited competition, then they're able to offset any impact from Amazon Air. Now while Amazon is ready to ramp up its investment in its air cargo services, it's likely it won't be able to make much of an impact in the immediate future. So captains, that's an overview of Amazon Prime Air, FedEx and UPS and also their position within the cargo business. Now I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Do you agree with me with what's been said or do you think they have the possibility to even rival UPS on FedEx? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe and I'll check you very soon.